A senior United Nations official affirmed that Yemenis need a lasting peace now more than any time in the past. This report has more details. About 100,000 people in Yemen were affected by the torrential rains over the past weeks. Reda al tahir Deputy Director Operations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, said, More than anything, Yemenis need lasting peace. Now is the time to deliver it. The delivery of humanitarian aid has decreased, and what makes matters worse is the unstable weather. The official noted that the humanitarian community has made headway in reaching underserved areas over the past month, and that the UN agencies are establishing an office in Taz and undertaking trips to ruler sites across the nation. However, in areas under the control of the Houthis, there are still numerous restrictions on humanitarian aid. The Deputy Director for Operations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs said that the talks between Saudi Arabia and Oman with Houthi leaders in Sana'a last week show an unprecedented opportunity to make more progress towards peace. She added that if taken advantage of, this might significantly enhance people's lives and lessen their suffering. The easing of import restrictions has allowed the entry of many commercial goods into the country. Over 21 million people require emergency assistance. So far, the humanitarian impact has been minimal, but forecasts indicate that worse weather is on the way. Donors are worried about increasing limitations and intervention, particularly in Houthi-controlled areas. Aid agencies have reported 628 access limitations so far in 2023. The majority of these are in Houthi-controlled areas, and they include limitations on movement and interference with needs assessments and contracting. These restrictions continue to make it difficult for Yemeni female aid workers to participate in critical humanitarian efforts. Houthis must maintain their commitments under international humanitarian law which includes supporting the swift and unhindered delivery of humanitarian aid and guaranteeing the freedom of movement of aid workers so they can perform their vital duties. Aside from commercial imports, much more needs to be done to stabilize Yemen's economy, including increasing people's income, ramping up demanding efforts, and restoring essential services.